Geeky Monkey TV. Hey everybody, we're back on Geeky Monkey and today we're taking a look at one of the first wave Lego sets for the upcoming Star Wars Episode 7. Uh, this is the entry level play set and we use entry level in the loosest possible terms in air quotes because uh, entry level in 2015 is £19.99, 20 quid, you know, a not inconsiderable amount but if you want to get in on the Force Awakens action in minifig and brick form, that is the price of admission. So here we are, Ray Speeder, Ray being this character here, the rather beautiful brunette you'll have seen in the trailers as portrayed by Daisy Ridley, one of the protagonists of The Force Awakens. Uh, Ray, as J.J. Abrams said, it is completely intentional that she has no second name, um, by which I'm sure we're meant to infer that maybe she might be a Skywalker. Or maybe she's a Solo, because as we learnt in the Star Wars comics recently, Han Solo at least has a wife that isn't Princess Leia. Um, <laughs> that might actually be a spoiler, but um, hey, that's how we roll here on Geeky Monkey. So, um, so there we go. Uh, you get to the Ray, Ray Speeder, and Unkar's Thug. Unkar being uh, a character who's only been referenced by name thus far, but is um, kind of is, is a junkyard sort of or a, a junk dealer. I think the gimmick is that he's kind of like the equivalent of uh, of, of a hut, maybe of Jabba the Hut, uh, some sort of underworld kingpin crime lord dude here on the planet Jakku which is one of the locations for the new um, movie. Jakku being another one of the Outer Rim territories along with Tatooine and Endor where we find ourselves. So anyway that's the preamble. There's Kylo Ren uh, who doesn't actually feature in the set but you know he looks cool so they're gonna put him in all the boxes anyway. And um, there we go a little look at the packaging there. Join the Lego Club if you're so inclined. Uh, here's a cool little bit of Artwork on the back. I like that kind of like um, technical schematic, sort of third angle, first angle perspective, whatever it happens to be. Here's some of the cool stuff you'll get. There's Ray, Ray with her bow staff slash javelin thing. Uh, um Unkar's thug has. I, I think this is supposed to be this gold thing is supposed to be a crowbar. But if you are if you are a Star Trek fan and you remember the episode, the, the two part episode, uh, Time's Arrow, it kind of looks like the Ophidian that the aliens were carrying when they were hanging about with, uh, with Mark Twain in the past. So uh, anyway, there's the box. Let's get this bad boy open and build us some Lego. Oh, what have we got in here? Oh, 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 got decals. We got decals. Okay, there's gonna be stickers involved here. This, uh... oh man, right. This might take a while. Oh, look at this. We can, we can check out all of, the, all of the stuff in the range, all of the figures in the range. Wow. Let's see if we can get that in focus here. Look at all these dudes. Resistance Troopers, First Order Stormtroopers, there's Finn. Oh my goodness. Anyway, right. Let's get building.
Okay, so we are now fully constructed. Much like the Death Star, we now have a fully armed and operational raised speeder, fully armed and operational minifigs, and not so fully armed and operational spare bits. Got a whole bunch of spare bits here. That's just the Lego way. So let's take a look first of all at the minifigs. Let's, uh, let's get a closer look at Ray here. That's it. As you can see, pretty nice. There's a javelin jousty thing. Let's get rid of that just for a second so we can get a good look at her. It's just rolling off the edge of the, of the desk here. All right, the desk star. And you can see it's pretty, pretty cool. You're gonna get in the focus. Come on, little lady. Come on, little lady, you behave. That's right. Pretty nice. A little bit of detailing. He's got the nice sort of triple, triple ponytail. That's a new hairstyle, a new hairpiece with the Lego range. Nicely painted, painted front and back, painted legs as well. And here's the cool thing. She is a two-faced cow. Yeah. Mmm. Oh no, I lost my lightsaber. Kylo Ren stole it. What a Sith thief! What a Ren thief! So yeah, we've got we've got moody, po-faced uh, Daisy Ridley, and alluring, eyebrow-raising, sexy, smirking Daisy Ridley. And uh, as you can see, he's got this nice little satchel mounted on the side. And that's pretty funky. But if you can't stand the sight of her, because I know some people don't like Daisy Ridley, you can put on her. Sand raiding gimmick mask thing. Actually, in, in canon, this is supposed to be a repurposed stormtrooper helmet. One of the, um, given this is taking place some 30 years after Return of the Jedi, and you'll have seen like the trashed Star Destroyer that's crashed on, uh, on the surface of Jakku and stuff. So everybody's like uh, um, retrofitting and repurposing old uh, Empire stuff. So she's doing her, uh, her Tusken Raider thing with that. Pretty cool. Nice little, nice little mask on there. Pretty cool sculpt, the, the painting goes, you know, most of the way around. A nice little laser sight, or maybe that's a cigarette perched behind her ear. Painted silver. So that is young Ray. And here's Unkar's thug with his, uh, his Ophidian <laughs> from Davidia 2, if he's, uh, if he's from Time's Arrow. It's got the hood, Ni again, nice paint, paint job that goes down onto the legs as well. And on the back, it's kind of a shame that it cuts off at the bottom, the print cuts off at the bottom. But, you know, still can't complain at that. Let's take his hood off here and we can see his little, his little pretty face. What a smiley chap. And uh, he, unlike, uh, unlike Ray, isn't a two-faced cat. He's got nothing on the back of his head. So let's put the hood back on him. And, uh, yeah, he's just... Chasing after Ray. Ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jack you. I'm gonna jack you, baby. I'm gonna jack you. Give me, give me your change. Give me your car stereo. So that's that. That's that. And actually, let's get Ray sat on her vehicle here. So, our fully armed and operational Ray speeder. Let's get her sat down. There she goes. Get the controls in her hands. Are they going in her hands? Maybe not quite. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Channeling my inner Anakin when he was uh, in the in episode one. So there we go. Ray Speeder. As you can see on the side here, we have um, electro binoculars. Let's just take these off so you can see. Electro binoculars, kind of like Luke was looking through in uh, A New Hope. Uh, some sort of electro buzzsaw. Everything's electro on this thing. I'm hoping that's like a, a Bruce Willis in Pulp Fiction and off it goes thing from the movie. And here we've got a blaster. Uh, in fact, I've got a spare blaster over here so rather than get that out. There's a, there's, a, uh, there's a blaster. Is that going to come into shot? Focus on the blaster. Focus. Use the force, camera. Use the force. Here's our blaster. Han would be proud. And he shot first. Never forget. Never forget, kids. Han is, uh, Han is gangster. So, yeah, here we go. As you can see, the, the decals that I've had to painstakingly apply. This took about, um, I think, a, a generous 25, 30 minutes to, uh, to put together, all told. So, uh, 
expect your kids to be a bit better at it than me. It'll take them longer than that if you're buying this for your kids. Uh, if you're an adult, you'll probably find, as I did, that your hand-eye coordination and your, your, your trembling sticking these bloody stickers on, that was a pain. That, uh, it, it's one of those things with Lego, because you've seen in the past, you can see they can, they can print stuff onto the figures when they want to. But, you know, these little decals here, you've got to stick on the control panel and stuff. You know, that's, that's just something sort of that's going to cause a, a slightly tipsy daddy on Christmas morning to throw a wobbler and smash everything to pieces. So, that's a very speeder. As you can see, the cool gimmick we've got here, if we twist the engine at the back, we actually open... These are my own sound effects. It's not the toy making these sound effects. We open up the, uh, the compartments of Ray's speeder, which I'm guessing is, is an embellishment for the toy. I'm guessing in the movie there's going to be like engines and stuff in here to keep the thing flying. So if we open that up, you can see there's space in here. Oh, what's that space for? Strange L-shaped space. Uh, my Tetris-like mind wants to put this in it, this little container right here. And that slots in just there. And then we close this compartment back up again. So you wonder, what's, what's actually in that container? What's in that compartment? Well, if we use the gimmick to open this again, What's in here is a whole bunch of studs. Why have we got a whole bunch of studs? Why do we need those for? Well, you see, this is the coolest thing about Ray Speeder. It's armed with, would they be proton torpedoes? Would they just be laser blasters? Not quite sure. Whatever these gimmicks are on the front, Ray's got two of them. Now check this out. Let's do some target practice here on Uncart's Thug. Ah, you, uh, you, maybe, maybe surname Skywalker, maybe surname Solo. Ah, I've come to steal your car. Oh no, you haven't. I've got my stud shooters. Yeah, got you in one, baby. And now uh, let's fire. Fire one, fire two. Ah, oh, missed. But that would have just been the kill shot. Just to make sure, one in the head, one in the heart. So there we go. Ray speeder. And there's even, look at this, there's even a spot here that you can put on her staff. So maybe she can do some jousting. You know, maybe that's what they do for fun on deck too, they go jousting, knocking each other off. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Ray Speeder. Going into battle mode. I know that's what kids will be doing. They'll be pretending there's missiles and lasers and stuff shoot out of there. But, uh, oh, there we go. There's our container. So a pretty cool, you know, it's 20 quid. It took me, let, let's say it took 25, 30 minutes, you know. Pound a minute, <laughs> if you're measuring entertainment by how long it takes to build. But I think it's a pretty cool set. The, the, the only thing that gets me about the, is about the Lego advertising it, is it, it invites you to recreate scenes from episode seven. You know, the film isn't out yet, but of course you can still recreate scenes from it. Why wouldn't you want to do that? There's, Ray's got her blaster, just in case. Take that. Or maybe she's holding it sideways because she's thug. Thug lad. Don't mess with me. I might be a daughter of Skywalker. Yeah, or a daughter of Solo. And I'm gonna shoot first. JJ Abrams ain't gonna retcon nothing. I'm gonna shoot first. I'm gonna shoot your ass. I'm gonna shoot your ass, Greedo. I'm gonna shoot your ass, Jabba. I'm gonna shoot your ass, Kylo Ren. Y'all's, y'all's, y'all's MF is a, y'all's in trouble. So anyway, as you can see, I've gone slightly mad from building too much Lego. That's the, uh, that's, that's Ray's, uh, Ray's, Ray, <laughs> Ray's speeder and a bunch of extra stuff that I can build something else with. Thanks for watching Geeky Monkey. Uh, like and subscribe on the buttons below. Check out the print magazine on shelves now and we'll see you real soon.